Sports fans are gearing up at Interstate Sports, your home for officially licensed fan gear. We have jerseys, custom frames, team signs, draft tumblers, and more. For every sports fan's needs, visit interstatesportsgifts.com. The good. The bad. The ugly. The Temple Owls found out who the Miami Hurricanes really were in this convincing win. This is the Good, Bad, and Ugly film review. Let's get right into it. The Good. All right, before we get started with the good, just to let you know that all of these videos have been demonetized due to the footage that we use. Only thing I'm asking is that you hit the like button, share, and subscribe as we make our way to 36,000 subscribers. Also, go check out interstatesportsgifts.com. The link is in the description for all of your sports memorabilia needs. Let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Let's see what this is. All right, here we go. Right here, second and six, 352 in the first quarter. Tyler Van Dyke with a handoff. Easy work right here for Henry Parrish. I mean, you got to look at the hole and love it. Let's take an end zone cut of this look at this deal. Let's look at the blocking straight up, right? Great pass off. Not worried about this guy. He's not affecting the play. But look at this combo block right here. Here's where the magic really happens. I'm not really necessarily sure I like the fact that they leave him alone. However, look at the combo block up here to number 11. What I prefer, let me go back and just say this, be honest with you. As we all know, the most dangerous man is who? Closest guy to the ball. So, should have been a combo here just to make sure. And if you got to peel off late, that'd be fine. But they're going to combo this guy because he stunts. He could have killed his play, but he doesn't because we get in there. And like I said, these things right here will make us pay at the next level. But Henry Parrish is, skates through that deal and makes him move with a great uh, spin move here at the end. Second and nine at the beginning of the second quarter. Temple has the ball. Look at this great little pump. Boom. I ski right there by Takori Couch. Let's take a let's break this down a little bit. And let's look at the rush right here by, by Ruben Bain. Boom. Great two-hand swipe to keep him off. But then watch my man right here come through here. I believe that's Harrison Hunt. A little push knocks him off. Easy work right there by Takori Couch for the interception. But all the magic happens right up in here by throwing him off. And everybody's covered. Great job. Great way. All right, here we go. Got another look at this deal. Now, this is going to be Tyler Van Dyke's big moment here, right? Let's look at this formation. They're showing everything in here, and you'll see the down and distance pop up here in a second. But this is a great read by here by Tyler Van Dyke. As you see, the numbers are there. He crashes down. TVD pulls it, and we off to the races. As you see, this safety right here hawks him down. It would have been an easy walk in, but unfortunately, he can't outrun him. Let's go back and look at this deal again. Let's see if I can catch it right from the beginning. Pre-snap read tells you they're a little light on this edge. If he crashes down, you're going to pull it, nine. That's exactly what he does. Doesn't crash hard, but he gets sucked down into here, and now he can get around that corner, okay? Perfect. Holla at you, baby. <laughs> oh, rumbling, stumbling, bumbling, baby. All right, third and four. You got to convert this deal to 12-22 in the second. Little pass action. Again, look at the protection. I have to be very honest. Look at Kobe Young out there extending that long 6'4 frame. But let's look at this deal right here. I have to be very honest. Running back. Got to be a little bit more aggressive in this hole. Can't get knocked back. Look at that. You got knocked back into nine. It could have been catastrophic. Picked up the right guy. They slide the protection. See the full slide. And he's going to come here and play right off the end. Takes care of the closest man. Not. Don't worry about him. Great. But you got to come bring it. Can't let him knock you back into the, but look at the easy throw right here by number nine. Puts it up high. Let the big boy do big boy things. Guess what? Our four is better than your four. Let's go here. All right, 937 in the second quarter, baby. The Hurricanes up by 14. Look at the formation. I'm loving this right here. Watch this work. Great job, man. As they said, Tyler Van Dimes in here literally throws it where nobody else can get it. Only his guy. But watch his eyes. This is huge. He knows where he's going. He sees the press coverage. He knows it's one-on-one. -on -one. He's pretty much pressed. 
They're not going to be on the same level. You get mixed up like that. That's fine. But watch his eyes on his mesh. Look at that. He stuck it out there, but he was looking the whole time. He was looking at him the whole time. Look at that. No pressure. Puts it up there. I mean, literally right over his shoulder. Nothing 32 can do about it. Nothing the safety can do to help. Great play. Great pitch and catch by uh, Tyler Van Dyke and Jacoby George. Look at my man. Look at look at X Factor. First one to come in and celebrate with the man. Come on, man. Unfortunately, don't turn that at any points. But guess what? We got Borregales in the building, baby. He's going to take this chip shot right here as a 26-yarder. Literally right up the middle of the field. And this ball is going to get kicked straight up the gut for another good play. You got to love it. Got to love it. All right. Third and six in the second quarter. 527 left in the half. Can they convert this? I don't think so because we in the good. But look at the pass rush right here by number 56. And I talked about this in the pregame show. It's time for this dude to show up and show out. And that's what he did. Great move with the swim over. Comes over. Keeps it tight. Keeps his balance. But look at it st sticking that one arm out there for the sack, baby. Yes, sir. That's how you get off the football field. Great job, 5-6. Great job. That's right here is the Leonard Taylor we looking for, baby. Give it to him. Now, you know that's a penalty. Now, I hate to say it to you. that The, the throw slash is a penalty. Luckily, they didn't call it on him, man. You got to be careful. I know you're excited. Second and three, 225 left in the half. The hour's going to move a little bit, as we see. Look at this right here, man. Another another great play right here between uh, 44 and my man coming here. I believe that's Gore coming in here who ends up getting uh, the forced fumble in this deal, man. So take a look at it right here. Look at 44. Boom. Gives him another double swipe. Right? Got the lean. He's getting held decent. He don't care. Put his hands up. But then let's look at Gore come off this ball right up here. Boom. Beats him to the gets there. But what I love about it, he didn't overdo it. Right? He didn't overdo it. You know, they're real finicky on these quarterbacks now. They end up calling it a fumble. They reviewed it. And it was a fumble. And the Canes took over with Jafar Harvey picking up the fumble, baby. Loving it. Second and 10. Let's see if I can go back and catch this at the very beginning. All right. Second and 10, a minute left in the half. Boom. Give it a little inside. There go that man doing that work again. Look at number seven coming in here looking like an H-back. Kicks out, makes it happen, seals this deal. Right? Is that is that Riley Williams at tight end? Look at the combo block by Riley. This is what I'm loving. This is where you're starting to see the evolution of the blocking scheme. Right, he's gonna combo down here, and he's gonna come off like an offensive lineman and seal this here. You're gonna see Restrepo coming here, kick him out. You're gonna see Henry Parrish take it straight up the gut, baby. And the safety has no idea what's going on. By the time you realize it, it's too late. It's a foot race. Holla at you, six points. <laughs> kick in the dough. Let's go, 21. Kick in the dough. Wave in the faux faux. All I heard was Papa, don't hit me no more. Let's go, Canes. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Oh, here we go. Great job. Here's a great look at it. I'm sorry. Yeah, 88. Look at the combo block here, right? He goes inside. No big deal. They combo off, but then he's going to leave him alone and come up here. Seal this dude. Great job. And there goes Restrepo kicking out. Holla at you. Holla at you. All right. Here go my man's right here. Bashar Smith. B. Smith in the building, baby. He going to come. He going to get his little jet sweep, right? And around the corner he goes. Now, a lot of people think this is a run, but technically it is a pass because he threw it forward. Watch. He throws it forward. So it wasn't a handoff. So that's why it's considered a pass. But look how he gets around the corner with that speed. He's out of there. He's out of there. If it wasn't for number eight on his backside, he would have been to the house. But let's take a look at the blocking. All right. A little bit light on the edge here. Right, look at Riley Williams getting around there. Great job. Get a nice block right here. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's McCormick. And now it's a foot race. Great, great job right there by the Miami Hurricanes. 24-7. As you see, it's a lot of good in this right here, man. Okay, first and goal. Here we go. Some more motion and movement. Another kick out block. Fight your way in easily. I had to give credit. Number eight was all over the football field, but let's look at the blocking up here, right? And I'm going to talk about here. This is a good play because we scored, but this combo block, no bueno. 
We left this guy alone right here at the point of attack. And I'm going to talk about, I think I have an end zone cut of this. Okay, here we go. Right here, you're going to see 73 and 61. All right. They're going to combo. However, leave this guy alone. You know it's an inside run. 73 and 61 should combo here. All right. They went here and out. This guy, he's showing. It's not like he's coming from depth. Look, he's standing right here. He is a danger. He is a danger to this play. Work here, you too, and work your way up. All right. But we don't. Fortunately, 21 is good enough to make him miss. All right. And there it is for a touchdown. Fourth and two. Definitely got to get off the football field, man. Definitely got to get off the football field. Let's look at the formation here. Here again, you see 56 applying pressure, and I definitely got to give him his love. But let's talk about what Ruben Bain does. He's going to get reached here, right? So he can roll out. But watch what he does. This was here is amazing, right? He's working and gets reached, but he extends him. Now watch him turn his body and run. Most guys will still be trying to fight off field. No, he knows this is a complete sprint out. Watch him turn his hips. Look at that. This right here is top notch, dog. And this is a freshman. Turn his hips, and he's going to try to beat him to a spot, knowing he has what? An extra block here. See him running, trying to beat him to the spot? That's great right there. Now, let's get to Leonard Taylor. Definitely fights through that, creates the pressure. Now, here's why this is important by, by, by Bain. If he can get him to stop his feet, this is right here, a splatter hit right there by Leonard Taylor. Okay? But it doesn't matter. They go your boy Zero again to Corey Couch on another great interception. They end up calling a penalty right here on number four, Keontre Smith. Why? Comes off the sideline with no helmet. That is a penalty all day. Okay, we got to be a little bit more disciplined. Bigger games, this stuff makes us pay. All right, those 15 yards are huge. Not against Temple, but maybe against North Carolina. Maybe against Florida State. Maybe against Clemson. You know, can't come off the sideline without your helmet. Look at this. You're all in the middle of the field. You weren't even on the play. Come on, four. Coach Cristobal, I know you got that one. All right, 725 in the third. First and 10. Let's go. Look at the pulling, man. My goodness. Look at this. Let's talk about it. Again, Temple overextends themselves. They're four on three. I get it. But you're short here in the box. You're short in the box. You take a line back out to take care of him. You got one here and you got a corner. A little short. This is how you cheat in football. It's all about numbers, okay? You bring two guys with you. You bring the center and the guard. You got the kick out there, which would have been a little bit tighter, but I'm cool with it. And you got the center, which is the backup, because I believe Matt Lee kind of hurt himself uh, previously. I think it was his ankle. So he comes and he's pulling. Now, I hate the fact that he stopped. I wish he would have kept running, okay? Don't stop, 7-6. Keep running. Keep running. You could have chipped him and worked your way this way and freed him, okay? But because you stopped, you allowed him to gain that angle. See that? You stopped your feet, and you stopped in the hole, baby. Keep working. Keep working, 7-6. Keep working. Keep working. You could have punched him with the right hand. Boom. Just knock him off just a little bit. Work your way up here. And then Henry would have had an extra blocker and gone. But I love it, man. Great play design right there by the OC Shannon Dawson. First and 10, 156 in the third. Little play action. Guess what we're going to do? I'm going to throw a little short ball. Look at your boy three get busy. <laughs> I love it, man. Let's talk about it. You're going to see a little stop and go. Watch this. Little stop. He doesn't bite. But look at the protection. Look at the protection. No pressure. No pressure. Except right here. I think Riley Williams whiffed on the block. Okay. He whiffs the block right there. And they come around. But he throws it underneath. Great job to coming back to the ball three. Look at that. Make a play. Make a miss. Keep the chains moving. 14-04 in the fourth. 14-04 in the fourth. Third and 14. We got to convert this to keep it alive. Let's go. Uh-oh. Number five in the building. We got a Ray Ray Joseph sighting. And that's what the fans been wanting. That's what the fans going to get. Love it. Right here, right? It's four on three. So they actually outnumber us. But... Number five does what he does best. Get in there, get behind his blocks, make it happen, get vertical to convert that thing to a first down. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. 38 to 7. It's getting stank right now. Come on. I see you five. 
I see you, five. Keep you live, baby. <laughs> Shout out to Shauna Boo Boo. Ray Ray's sister, man. Love it. Okay. And don't end up getting into the end zone on that deal. Fourth and 13. Got to go ahead and kick it. We bring in Bore Gallis. Let's go. Let's look at the blocking. It's sewn up. We got it. Great kick. Hooks right on in. Right down the gut, man. Perfect. Perfect kick right there. Gives us 41-7 to seven in this deal. Great job for the Canes. Now let's get to the bad. The bad. All right, here we go with the bad, right? Now the Canes can't be giving up big plays and all that good stuff, but we're going to see one right here, and we're going to see where the mistake is made. All right? Look at this deal. 255 in the first. To Corey Couch tries to go for the INT, misses, and a big play is off here. Let's talk about it. Let's look at this deal right quick. Here we go. You're going to see a bunch set. You're going to see he should be playing the point. He got inside. He has outside. You got anybody going deep. You see it. They got two guys here. The quick out. I'm not sure. He wasn't even really going for it. Just a bad angle. 15 catches that. Here's what is happening. Right here. 19 can't recover. Now, here's a great move by 15. I have to be honest. He sells like he's going inside to get James Williams to break down. Stick his foot back outside to make him move. But because James Williams is 6'5 and got long length, trips him up. But if not, it might have been a touchdown. It definitely would have been some more yards. Okay, we're not going to be on the bad long. One too many of them. All right, third and five. 6'54 in the second. Here we go. Now, here's a great play design by them. I just had to be very honest. We know that we like to drop our ends, right? Our defensive ends slash outside linebackers. You're going to see Jaden Wayne out here on the running back. All he's going to do is run very basically just a simple angle route, right? Just come right here and, and bring it right back inside because it looks to be everybody else is playing man, right? You see Kiko, he, he uh, vacates the center of the field. He Everybody else is man. Now, what does he do? Jaden Wayne with the bad eyes looking in the backfield. If you're going to play man, young man, you got to stick to the man. Here's a simple rule when you're playing man. Line up on the man, cover the man, and keep your eyes on the man. That's a very simple rule, all right? Watch this. Watch bad eyes. He's there. He's good. But as soon as he makes his cut, look at his eyes. Look, he's made his cut. He's going to throw the ball. And he's looking back here. You are done for, my man. All right, so we got to work better when it comes to man coverage. But again, James Williams comes in to save the day with a great aggressive tackle right there. Great job. And it's hard, man. You got Jaden Wayne on one of their best players, right? Oh, here we go. Better look. This is him coming out the backfield. They pretty much got this blocked up. But he hit him with the hezzy. <laughs> Watch it as he come out the backfield. He's going to stick that foot in there. But right there, see his eyes are bad. Right? And perfect pitch and catch, and they off to the races. Watch 20 come in and lay down the smackdown on it. Let's go. Yeah, that's it for the bad. I told you it wasn't much to it. Now let's get to the ugly. The ugly. All right, here we go with the ugly. Promise you, we're not going to be here that long, so hold tight. All right, here we go with the ugly. I swear I hated this. I told the people in the pregame show I wanted a donut, a goose egg, a zero, a settle, whatever. And we didn't do it. Third and goal, right? Let's be able to get this thing. They already was in field goal range. I get it, but let's not give up a tub. They motion this deal, and here's the problem. A lot of communication. They get it set up. Great pass rush right here. Look at this. We got him pass rush, but he gets it off anyway for a late touchdown here. Let's talk, let's look at this. Pass rush, first of all. Great job. Good two-hand swipe here. I believe that's Ruben Bain on the hole, but I ain't going to call it. It is what it is. Great job here coming off the edge right there by Wesley Besaint. Harrison Hunt walking his man down. This quarterback shouldn't actually be able to throw this ball. But I have to be honest, Takori Couch got a little lazy on this deal. This is him right here. Little lazy. Eyes bad. Eyes bad. Looking for the ball. And he comes up, thinking, I guess thinking it's a sack. Gets it off. And again, the guys try to come across late for an easy touchdown. <laughs> we blew it when it came to the goose head. But that is the ugly. There you have it, the good, bad, and ugly, ladies and gentlemen. The Miami Hurricanes played, I believe, in my opinion, the most complete game that they've played this season. Offense, defense, and special teams look extremely good. They're going into a bye week. And after that, they got to go into ACC play, playing the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. 
So with all that being said, I thank you. Make sure you go check out our sponsor, interstatesportsgifts.com for all your sports memorabilia needs, as well as hit that like, share, and subscribe button as we're on our way to 36,000 subscribers. Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.